Hello everyone, I'm Rhino Clavin, and this is your Diz Daily Fix for Friday, June 17th, 2016. I'm not in front of the green screen again this week because I wanted to show you this Orlando United shirt that I'm wearing. I was able to purchase this yesterday. Some of our local professional sports teams like the Orlando Magic, Lions, Pride, and Solar Bears have come together to sell these shirts in support of this week's tragedy. All the net proceeds will go to the City of Orlando's One Orlando Fund at oneorlando.org. The shirts are on sale at the Orlando Magic Team Shop at the Amway Center in downtown Orlando, at the Solar Bears offices in Maitland, and online at store.orlandosolarbearshockey.com. So go on and check those out, and be sure to check out some of the many other ways that you can help a hurting community down here. After this week's tragic alligator attack at Disney's Grand Floridian, there have been changes made to transportation options available at the Magic Kingdom Resorts. All resort beach areas, excuse me, and marinas are currently closed with no reopening date announced. Ferry boats are once again running between the Magic Kingdom and the Transportation and Ticket Center, but all other watercraft on Bay Lake and the Seven Seas Lagoon have been suspended. There are additional buses running from the TTC to the Magic Kingdom to help accommodate guests who are waiting. On that same note, Disney World will be adding signs to their resort beaches warning guests about alligators in the water. Now, Disney has had signs on their beaches saying that the swimming is not allowed, but not all warned of alligators. An exact timeline for these additions of signs was not mentioned. However, a Disney spokeswoman, Jackie Waller, said, quote, We are conducting a swift and thorough review of all of our processes and protocols. This includes the number, placement, and wording of our signage and warnings, end quote. Now, here's hoping nothing like this ever happens again. On a brighter note, Shanghai Disneyland is finally open. Now, if you missed the broadcast on the Disney Channel, you can still check it out on Disney's official YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Disney's shows. And it seems with the opening of Shanghai Disneyland, Disney CEO Bob Iger revealed some interesting information that will further cement the company's presence in China. During an interview with Bloomberg, Iger said, quote, We have a lot of development activity right now to make Disney-branded films in China. We are very far along in this process, including developing ideas, concepts for films, and identifying talent to make those films. End quote. It's an exciting time for any Disney fan that's living in China. Now, our featured article today comes from our very own Steve Porter. The article is titled, Three Reasons Why Disneyland Can't Be Reproduced, with the main one being that you can feel Walt's spirit within the park. Check out that article and many more over on WDWinfo.com. And don't forget to check out our continuing coverage of the Disneyland 60th anniversary event on WDWinfo.com slash Disneyland. And that's where you can actually enter to win a trip to Disneyland, so be sure to get on that. On the Diz Boards, poster Quagmire Zero just returned from a Walt Disney World vacation and shared some great observation and tips. He goes over tons of tips from ponchos to early morning Magic Kingdom hours and restaurants. The thread is titled Post Trip Thoughts June 5th through 14th on our Theme Park Attractions and Strategies Board. So check that out. Finally, here's the weather. Anaheim is looking to be mostly sunny with a high of 87 and a low of 61. I was just there this last weekend, and the weather was absolutely perfect for theme parks. So if you can, you should really take advantage of it. Here in Orlando, we're looking to have some thunderstorms with highs in the upper 80s and lows in the mid to upper 70s. For links to all we talked about today and so much more, be sure to visit the Daily Fix main page at www.info.com slash Daily Fix. That's going to do it for me today. I have been and will always be Rhino Clavin. Have a safe weekend, everyone.